Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to create explainer videos with Canva. Welcome to this Canva animation tutorial for beginners where I'm going to show you step by step how you can create professionally looking explainer style animation video in Canva. This is a beginner friendly, it doesn't require any previous animation experience and absolutely anyone can do it. Now let's get straight to the point and watch the demo video that we will recreate here together today. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. I think that looks amazing. And don't worry if it looks a little bit overwhelming. Absolutely anyone can achieve the exact same results by the end of this tutorial. So the way in which we're going to achieve those results is by using something called stock GIFs. Now you might know what GIFs are, but stock GIFs are basically professionally animated GIF images. They're created by motion graphics designers, they're pre-animated, and they're ready to go. All you have to do is drag and drop them into your Canva project, and that's it. So there's plenty of GIF animations that you can use like characters, different ethnicities, genders, icons, everything that you need to build your project. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't have those in its library, so this is an external resource. Canva has some amazing stock assets, but it doesn't do that well when it comes to stock animation. So no worries, I'm going to show you the best place online where you can find those professionally animated stock GIFs at the end of this tutorial. But let's move forward in the meantime, because I already selected my assets here, so I already have everything prepared. Obviously, whenever you start a video animation, you need a script, and for most explainer videos, you need a voiceover as well, and maybe some music also. So I already went ahead and did that, and then I broke down the script, and for each individual scene, I know exactly what animation I want on screen. So all the planning has been done, now it's just a matter of putting everything together. Now let's go ahead and do that. I'm here in my Canva account, I'm going to create a new design, and when this opens, just type here video, and then click on the first one. And now the first thing that we want to do is go to the upload panel here on the left sidebar and start adding our own assets into Canva. So let's first add the audio. I'm going to select the voiceover and the music. Just drag and drop them here. Next, let's go to the videos panel. Technically, GIFs are animated images, but for some reason in Canva, they show up in the videos tab. That's perfectly fine for me, so just drag and drop all of them here into Canva and just wait for everything to load and process. Anyway, here we are, and now let's start off by first adding the audio. Let's start by adding the music and the voiceover. Now the way Canva works is it doesn't really allow you a lot more time on the timeline except for what you have the current 5 seconds. So to fix that, let me just add a couple more pages. Now we can see everything all the way. And let's play it back. Tired of taking selfies? Are you the first thing that you notice is the music track is super loud. So make sure you select it here on the timeline, go to the volume icon, and let's change the town all the way to 11. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photo Now let's click on this button when it changes to this thing on the bottom. So not this on top. The other one you can actually select this slider to zoom in a little bit. So we can clearly see the timeline and the waveform of the audio. So next what we're going to do is we're going to time each particular page or scene to the voiceover. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in so this would be the scene number one. It ends here. I'm going to grab this, resize it like this, and let's keep playing. Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. And so you can see on the timeline, all the pauses are when there's a break in the waveform. So here's another pause. And would be another one and so on. And now let's start adding the GIFs. Tired of taking selfies? So first we're talking about taking selfies. Now let's go to the videos tab here. And I have a GIF animation of this character, of this woman with a selfie stick. I'm just going to put her in the middle, resize her so she fills up the whole frame. And let's see what we have. Tired of taking selfies? 
Are you stressed in front of the camera? All right, then we're talking about being stressed in front of the camera, right? So obviously you want to continue our project with the same character. So we have another animation of the exact same character being stressed. So again, I'm going to put her in the middle in the next scene. Resize her. It makes sense if she's in the exact same position, right? Because you want to have some continuity from this to this, right? Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. So that's pretty cool. So in this next scene, we're introducing the company, right? But this is an imaginary company, so it doesn't exist. We have this logo animation, which is just this cute camera icon. So I'm going to add this here a little bit higher. So now I want to go to the text tab and add a new heading, which in our case would be the same of the company or the website, basically. So it was photoclick.com. Obviously, you can change the font to whatever you want. Let's choose this font. All good. We can proceed. At photoclick.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo. So we're talking about LinkedIn and you want to make things a little bit more dynamic. So for this scene, we will actually use the same character as before, except this time she's dressed a little bit different because now we're talking about a professional environment. So we have the same character, but dressed for the office. I'm going to move her here to the right and on the left because we're talking about LinkedIn. I will add a logo animation of LinkedIn. Resize this one as well. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo. And there you have it. Let's see what we have next. Or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. Next, we're talking about dating apps. So now we're going back to our main character, but dress a little bit more casually because we're not talking about work. We're talking about the dating apps and we have her on the phone because that's what she's doing. She's working on the apps. And I want to switch things around here. So we have the main character on the right, icon on the left. So to spice things up a little bit, I have her on the left and then have the icon like a heart animation to show the dating aspect. I'm going to add it here on the right. I think it's very nice balanced composition and let's see how it looks. Or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. So let's keep spicing things up a little bit here. In this scene, we have two characters, male characters with different ethnicities. And have people literally fall in love with the new you. Really nice. They like our main character. Now let's keep moving forward. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get So we're kind of getting close to the end of the video where it says the possibilities are endless. You always want to end your video on a happy note, right? Because now our main character has found a solution. So we're going to use this animation of her cheering, being super happy because she now found a solution to her problem. The possibilities are endless. Sign up. All right, so here, actually, I'm going to just duplicate this one right here for the end because I want the same logo animation. And instead of the name of the company, we're just going to have the call to action, which was sign up now to get started. So right click on this scene, duplicate page, and then I have to drag and drop it here at the end. I'm going to double click on the text, select all of it, and just write sign up now, exclamation mark. Once done, click share at the top and click on download. Tired of taking selfies? Are you stressed in front of the camera? At photoclick.com, we got you covered. Update your LinkedIn profile with a professional photo or update your dating apps and have people literally fall in love with the new you. The possibilities are endless. Sign up now and get started. So you have your final video. As you can see, anyone can achieve the exact same professionally looking results with drug and drop simplicity by using stock gifs. Now the big question is where you can find professionally animated stock gifs. You might be able to find some free gifs images on Google, but those are usually gif memes or low quality amateur gifs that are not suitable for our purpose. For this video, I have used Render Forest to get those GIF animations, and you can use it as well. Render Forest offers a free version. And that's all for today's video. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Vidscribe AI. Your business needs more high quality traffic. Unlock a fresh and high quality traffic source that 99% of your competition hasn't exploited. Rank on local language SRPs with subtitled and redub videos in hundreds of languages all with a click. Automatically subtitle any video in the language you choose. Automatically redub voiceover videos in the language of your choice. Get local language captions, SRT for your videos for higher rankings.
Transcribe, translate, and redub your videos in local languages with Vidscribe AI. Get highly accurate videos with best in class transcriptions, translations, and redubbing all done for you. Upload videos on auto to YouTube, to Facebook, and even to Instagram and Snapchat through Dropbox. Includes powerful training that shows you how to rank to the top with local languages, and a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get Vidscribe AI now. Just go to vidscribe.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.